First, let's clarify the difference between a mathematical theory and a theorem. A theorem is a single statement about a relationship between some mathematical concepts. A mathematical theory is a coherent network of interconnected axioms, definitions, theorems, and proofs. Mathematical theories are developed over time. Mathematicians try to solve problems and to state and prove theorems. In order to do so, they formulate axioms and definitions to capture the concepts they wish to use. Obviously, this process is not linear, and all concepts were intertwined. But mathematicians want everything to fit into a coherent overall structure, so they adjusted axioms, definitions, theorems, and proofs as groups to capture both individual concepts and logical relationships. Axioms and definitions are the foundation of a theory, and they are at the most bottom layer. With the bottom layer in place, theorems are the building blocks at higher levels, and they say something about a relationship between concepts from the preceding layers. Some theorems might be just about one concept, such as this one. It says, if both x and y are rational numbers, then x times y is also a rational number. Proving this theorem would involve just one concept: the definition of rational numbers. But most theorems involve multiple concepts, such as this one. It says. Let a n be a convergent sequence, then a n is bounded. Proving this theorem would use two concepts: the definition of a convergent and the definition of bounded. So we can think of these theorems as adding new blocks to the mathematical theory. However, don't get confused and think that all theorems are built just on axioms and definitions. Once a theorem is proved, it is added as a building block to the theory, and we can deduce new theorems based on existing theorems. And a mathematical theory will have more layers on top of preceding layers, just as shown in this chart.